I'm Matt Barrett. I'm a concept artist at ArenaNet, and I designed the Asura, so I'm going to draw one for you today. Okay, I'm going to start with some basic construction lines here. Uh, sort of feeling out. Uh, I kind of know where the head needs to be, so I'm just sort of feeling out my awareness of the space here. Uh, sort of a flat jaw, uh, a little button nose, sort of the, the little cute element. Uh, cheekbone there, uh, sort of flat, uh, sort of reptilian or amphibian jaw. And sort of a disdainful or annoyed expression. I want to give their own, them their own sort of humanity or, uh, you know, just a, cer a certain set of uh, emotional cues. You know, they're very complex. They're not just creatures. Uh, that's sort of a scowl there. And sort of setting stage there with uh, a little bit of a costume element just to sort of anchor it. So not just a floating head. Uh, just Sort of a, a plain basic hairstyle. I'm not going too crazy here. It's mostly about the expression and construction I'm interested. So, and I'm just sort of filling out the space here. These are mostly cues for later uh, uh, for the value pass. I'm not necessarily going to keep those the sketchy lines. Establishing what I want to keep there, and I've run out of space there, so I'm <laughs> uh, making some room. I'll clean that up in a minute. I like to think these guys are pretty proud of their ears, so it's it's important to make sure I've got the whole ear. They're cave dwellers, so yeah, they're originally, and just kind of trying out some stuff. I think this is not going to work very well, so I'm going to knock the opacity down. And yeah, that is it. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill out some of the some of the mass, sort of get a neutral a neutral tone to push and pull my lighter and darker values from. It'll help just sort of establish my awareness of this, the, the, you know, the, the way it occupies the space. So, just sort of a base primer layer, if you will. And now I'm, I'm going with some, some darker, darker tones to sort of, this is pushing the values into darker areas, so it, it helps to establish the light uh, a little more definitively. And sort of a cat-like eye, uh, sort of, you know, like a, the, the goldish uh, of eye of a lion or maybe some nocturnal primates. Got that uh, reflective tapetum there. And just kind of warming him up with some, you know, he's going to have a little bit of blood in his skin to be sympathetic. It can't just be a cold, cold gray skin. It's a little warm, a little warmer overall, but not too warm. And when I do that, I'm just uh, I'm kind of getting an idea of uh, where I still have areas unpainted, where it's uh, sort of a, a full white. I, I don't want to leave too many areas like that. We can kind of unbalance the the, the value distribution. Now I'm just kind of leveling, leveling everything out into a consistent level of uh, polish for you know just a certain mid-level uh, rendering. Uh, I'll, I'll go in and harden things up a little later and tighten things up. Uh, sort of defining more subtle elements of the facial expression. It's a little, uh, it's a little tricky with, uh, especially around the eyes. It's. I'm gonna to get to that later. It's uh, you know very very subtle changes can completely change the expression. So I'm defining this cheekbones a little more, uh, a little more of a 
intense scowl. He's he's not a nice guy. <laughs> a little darker around the eyes, a little more sinister. This is basically just tightening up the rendering. Uh, most of it's kind of how it's going to be, and this is all very uh, sort of technical. Just keeping the lighting in mind, uh, giving a little modeling to the skin there, make it a little, a little more alive. You know, living skin is not evenly colored, so uh, a little more of a living essence to him. I like the interior of ears, especially there. It's it's nice, sort of shiny skin. It's it's uh, sort of a treat, <laughs> a treat to paint. Everybody likes painting shiny things. And sort of hardening up the shadow there to sort of uh, intensify the light. Cleaning up that edge, it's, it gives it a little more thickness to the ear. Also cleans up a little bit of a sketchy line there. But yeah, here's the, the shiny ear, it's sort of oily and smooth skin in there. It's, I love painting different types of skin. It's uh, it's very enjoyable. Lots of technical challenges trying to get materials to to act right with light. And getting the detail in the interior of the face, there's not a lot of room there, so I had to decide what to keep and what not to. So uh, I can't have too many creases or folds, or else it gets really, really busy, and you sort of lose the expression. It's all very fiddly. <laughs> it's not changed much in the last uh, few seconds. It's, uh, and it's just about finished, just kind of cleaning up the edges. There we go. It's done. And that's how to draw an Asura.